Hey everyone, COE33 here with Oscar and... And Baby Yoda! <laughs> yeah, and Baby Yoda and my sister Leaf. And if you saw by our thumbnail, you know this is indeed Farewell from TGH. This will be our last video. I know this isn't a video I wanted to make because I know some of you guys out there are going to be really bummed. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things after doing something for five years, um, I feel like the time has come where we have to move on to different pastures and we have to roam a little bit and try different experiences and you know over the last five years we've made a lot of content on this channel we've had a lot of genuine fun and we have, we we're, have. we're super appreciative of the community support that we received you guys are awesome I gotta tell you, you the, guys are the, the YouTube retro gaming community amazing. is top-notch and um, the comments that you guys leave um, the support that we received uh, just the interactions we've had at various expos and stuff has been really appreciated and super humbling and um, we will always be thankful for that and um, a lot of oh, you wow, will always nice. live on in our game room we've got our all the notes and letters that you guys have sent to us over the years we have hanging up in our game room and that's not going anywhere no so definitely will be a great way to remember all our years of doing TGH and all the hundreds of videos that we made and all the on the hunts and spectaculars and all that that we did and, definitely, and that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And definitely some good times were had by all. So now we don't want to leave on, it's not a negative, but we don't want to leave on a down. So what we thought no. we would do is uh, compile some of the clips over the years, some of our on the hunts, and maybe some spectacular clips and stuff like that, and leave you on a, a positive note of some of, the, the, yeah, some of the fun moments that we had over the years. And uh, we really hope you enjoy that. We hope you all are well, and especially during these trying times, we want you all to be happy, healthy, and safe. And um, certainly, Leaf and I are doing well, and we're, you know, nice, oh, yeah. nice and oh, healthy, yeah. so that's good. And, and Baby Yoda. And Baby Yoda is healthy, so that's good. And um, so thank you. That's all. So for five years, TGH, say no to pickle juice. <laughs> and, and remember, if it, if it has a scratch on it, don't buy it. <laughs> yeah, stay away from the scratch discs and keep on gaming. We certainly will be doing the same. Lots of Neo Geo and we in our future, huh? NDS. And of course, NDS. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching our videos over the years and take care. Toodaloo. Genesis does. My Nintendo. Guys, we just had one of the best scores we've had. Okay, hold on. I get in the car. I've got a giant stack of NES games here. Oh, okay. Switch the camera over. Look what we got. Oh, oh my God. Sugar. <laughs> okay. Thirty. Oh no, it's actually twenty-seven NES games. And it's good stuff too. So we got a giant stack. Okay, so we went to that garage sale back there. There were no video games out there. And as always, I said, got any video games? Nintendo, Sega, Atari, I do the whole stick. And he goes, oh, well, I had some Sega games I sold yesterday. I'm like, oh, don't say that. He says, well, I left the good stuff at home because I didn't want to sell it. You know, I don't even have a Nintendo anymore. And, but I just didn't want people to offer me 10 cents a piece. And I was like, well, I mean, I'm interested. I'm a collector. And I'll offer you more than 10 cents. And he says, well, I'm hoping to get 50 cents for the cheaper ones and like $3 for the good stuff, something like that. I said, yeah, that sounds good. So we drove to his house. He lives about 10 minutes away. And we followed him. And I go into his house, and he has a stack of 27 games. And uh, I offered him $30 for the stack. So that's like a buck a piece, pretty much. And he wanted 40 and I said, well, how about 35 And we'll call it a deal. And we made it a deal. So $35, and we've got, really, like, we got Metal Gear. We got Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Brothers 3. We'll go over all this stuff when we get back in the game room. Ninja Gaiden. 
and uh, you know, of course, the gold cart with Zelda there, Blades of Steel, Ninja Gaiden 2, Rad Racer, Karate Kid, 194. I mean, all kinds of good stuff. So, wow, heck of a start to the day. Yeah. We just had a big garage sale score for five bucks. We got a PlayStation 1. I can't believe it. In the box. That's the key right there. We have plenty of PlayStation 1s, but we do not have a PlayStation 1 box. And for five bucks, you can't go wrong. So really stoked on that. Score! And we just pulled up to video game headquarters. We were going to just uh, start shopping at stores, but then we saw a garage sale down the street. So we thought, why not? And there were no games out and about, but we went ahead and asked, like we always do, do you have any video games? And you start listing them off, Nintendo, Atari, Sega, PlayStation. And sure enough, it paid off because not only did we get this for five bucks, but I left my number with her and she said she may have more. And I said, if you come across video games, give me a call. So fingers crossed. All right, guys, we had quite possibly our biggest score we've ever had. Gold! <laughs> it was gold. So we went into this local Goodwill, and sorry I didn't get any footage, but we ended up uh, talking to the manager and there was no opportunity to do it. So we went into a local Goodwill, and in the display case was about, what, two or three bags of Atari 2600 games, and they were marked at $9.99 each, which isn't bad. It's a little less than a dollar a game. And uh, that's about what we want to pay for Atari 2600 games, so we're going to pick those up. Thumbs but up. but then I asked the manager, do you, or actually the cashier, excuse me, do you have any more games? And she says, yeah, someone dropped off their whole collection. Wow. And in the back, there's 23 bags filled with Atari 2600 games. Oh my games. gosh. So I asked to talk to a manager, because I knew I didn't want to pay $230 for all those games. Yeah. And the manager came out, I said, hey, I'm a local collector, I would love to add these to the collection. And if I buy everything, can we get a deal? And he said, yeah, sure. So we went back and forth a little bit, and we ended up paying $150, which was a lot of money. Wow. But for $150, we got 23 bags filled with 12 games each, someone's personal collection, so each game is different. And I saw that a couple of them were in the box, I noticed, when we were rifling through it. So really stoked on that. Can't wait to go through all of them and check them out. And uh, just a great way to start the day. All right, guys, so we just arrived. Here we are. So Seventh Guest was developed in Oregon, and the devs used this house, the Noonan Estate, as the inspiration for Henry Stoff's mansion. And apparently there's a fancy schmancy restaurant here that just opened up, so I don't think, even though we're not dressed, we can't pass up an opportunity to eat in Henry Stoff's mansion, so I think we're going to do that. So, very cool old Victorian home. And, uh, as you can see, it looks just like the house in the video game. Hello everyone, COE33 here with my sister Leaf. Hello everyone! And we're here with another episode of... Five and Five! And five. <laughs> Don't be video games. <laughs> there you go. Uh, these look new. I don't think you have to worry about the headlights this time around. <laughs> Shall you live? I don't think so. <sighs> <laughs> it's Queen Leaf. Bow to me, madame. <laughs> bow, bow, you shall bow. I'm gonna cast a spell on you. You better watch this channel. Or else we're gonna haunt you for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, it's just you, Leaf. Gosh, you scared the bejesus out of me. Good evening, everyone. COE33 here with my sister Leaf. Good evening. And we're here with another episode of We, we want, want to Suck, suck Your Blood! blood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, wait, oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm mistaken, that's not it. We're here with another episode of... We, we Got, got Mail! mail. <laughs> <laughs> Arry, mateys! Captain COE33 here with my first mate, Leaf. Arrgh. We're sailing the seas looking for treasure, but first we thought we would take the time and film an episode of... Five... In five! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go. Styling. <laughs> what do you got there? That looks actually. What is that? That looks really disturbing, actually. I think it's like intestines or something. <laughs> oh boy. Hardly believe it's it's alive. Hey, Leaf, how's it going? It's going good. Now let's get this filming going so that our viewers can watch something interesting, better than the old Jeopardy or the Wheel of Fortune or whatever else they're watching these <laughs> days. <laughs> I know the kids; they like their. Video games. I don't know what the appeal is personally. Back in my day, I played Paperboy, and I thought I didn't approve. I thought it was too violent. Mario. That sounds like some hippie stuff to me. Now let's get this filming. Bubble and trouble, Barney Rubble. Boil and toil, aluminum foil. I'll get you and your little dog too. Whoa. And then coming over here, we've got our setup here for filming and for editing and uh, all that good stuff. And uh, Leaf, she passed away recently, so she'll be. Oh, <laughs> she's the least. I think that's the a doozy, huh? That's the worst one we've gotten on camera yet. <laughs> it's almost as bad as the time. Oh, oh no! Here she goes. Oh boy, the road trip just started, and she's already snorting. <laughs> well, once she starts, she doesn't stop too. So I'm just gonna let this one play out. <laughs> This is going in the blooper reel. <laughs> I was wondering how many videos we'd have to do before we caught you snorting on camera. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shoo. Edit. <laughs> Edit. All right, so. <laughs> PRGE doesn't disappoint, does it? No, it does not. So we got to. <coughs> <coughs> oh, he's choking. I'm choking on air, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants a white pumpkin? That sounds gross. It's actually pretty good. A white pumpkin, what, frappe? Mm -hmm. Who wants this? Ugh. Mm, it's pretty House dingy. black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> What's better, house black or pumpkin frappe. I imagine actually the pumpkin frappe will win. Most people will think the pumpkin frappe. Mm. I like Holiday. my coffee simple and black. I like them um, chill. Creamy and 2,000 calorie milkshake. <laughs> I love these. These are my favorite. If you got a burp, I got a uh, fart. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what? Oh no, no. But I'm not burping because I don't want to smell that. <laughs> oh god. That's, oh, oh no! Again? This is what you did last year in the same 
No. What? Every year when you go to Portland Retro Gaming Expo, you start snorting? Oh my gosh. What the heck? <laughs> oh boy. I guess I better drink some coffee. Here she goes. <laughs> what is it about going to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo? That, oh, it's the Frappuccino, the pumpkin white chocolate Frappuccino. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Hi, hi, hi. Edit. Edit. <laughs> <laughs>